let's come back and start your emulsions topic so very small topic but remember they may ask you any type of question from this so for that i'll be uh, teaching you the complete concept of emulsions <coughs> let us divide the board first so first important i am going to make a column for the definition done then i'm going to make a column for types then i'll be making a column for properties i'll also be making a column for emulsifying agents i'll also be making a column for de emulsification process okay simple everything is there they may ask you from anywhere the emulsification process now when i have to write the definition of emulsions how do i name basically emulsions are also colloidal particles only but only difference is here <coughs> you have uh, you're going to mix or like uh, completely mix up either partially miscible or mis immiscible solution then only they call this emulsions miscible means uh, soluble right immiscible means they're not at all soluble let's come back and write so emulsions are type of colloids obtained by mixing so i said there are of two types isn't it partially miscible means only little they are soluble or immiscible then completely insoluble right obtained by mixing immiscible or partially miscible me solutions salts the solutions okay done that means you have to be very careful here emulsions i said miscible or partially miscible so immiscible or partially miscible so <coughs> when you write the example two types first type is you have oil is dispersed in water oil is dispersed in water that means oil is a dispersed phase water is a dispersion medium what is this this is called o capital o capital w o by w type of emulsion the opposite one the other one is water is dispersed means water is uh, is the dispersed phase is dispersed in oil oil is a dispersion medium so you're going to write first you took water so write w by o o type that simple isn't it now if i have to write the example common example is milk oil and water type is milk now <coughs> milk contains water isn't it now a second example butter cream or cheese so examples are that now when i have to write the properties of these important properties emulsions are going to show brownian movement zigzag movement brownian moment they will show brownian moment done zigzag moment of the dispersed particles they are also going to show they i said they are type of colloids i said isn't it so they are going to show tindall effect done emulsions are highly unstable they are unstable in nature so now to make them stable enough i am going to add emulsifying agents that is why i have written there so what is the role of emulsifying agents they are going to they stabilize emulsions i have to make them stabilize emulsions so to maintain that emulsion state that emulsion you have to add safe stabilizing agents so for example if i take oil and water type for this milk is a example to stabilize that milk or to stabilize that emulsion i'm going to add or different examples i'm picking up i can add gum right i can add emulsifying agent not only milk basically different examples for different examples gum can be used as an emulsifying agent natural and synthetic soaps can be used as synthetic soaps can be used as emulsifying agents done now suppose if i have to pick up water and oil type of uh, this one just we have picked up butter and cream i can use emulsifying agents like for example alcohols long chain alcohols we call long chain alcohols 
yes i can use long chain alcohols for stabilizing the or uh, emulsion whatever like a water and oil type of uh, this one now when i have to come back so okay i have studied unstable then i have shown you certain amount of uh, uh, stabilizing uh, agents then i'm come back coming back and explaining what is deemulsification now suppose you have taken the emulsion you have seen and after that you said uh, you are adding emulsifying agents to stabilize it suppose if you want to separate the emulsions and that process is called deemulsification now what is deemulsification deemulsification is separation of emulsions into constituents emulsions into constituents how do we do i can separate the emulsions back into the constituents by <coughs> either first you can freeze it by freezing yeah i can centrifuge it centrifuging centrifuging i'll show you isn't it continuous rotation of the test tubes in under the uh, under the uh, force of motor right centrifuging then i can also heat it heating when i do all perform all this process you can get back your emulsions done so these are your emulsions first definition types properties emulsifying agents you can add further many examples because this is asked for only two marks i've listed out only so many then deemulsification process